What's up, YouTube? It's LDS Reliance. Uh, you know, when I got started with solar, um, I didn't know the first thing about current. Uh, current was something I'd heard about. You know, you hear about amps. Um, I'd been asked. I, I, I've hosted at trade shows and things like that, and they ask you how many how many amps of power do you need in your booth? And I'd be like, oh, I don't know. I have no idea how to calculate that. I don't. I don't really know what that means. So I think um, you know this is something that a lot of people don't know. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this video. Um, really try to understand um, what what it is, what an amp is, uh, what current is, what amperage is. All of those different terms. Um, they all tie together, obviously, but we really need to understand this one pretty well before we get into Ohm's law and tie this all together. So let's get into it and start talking about current. Electric current is the flow of electricity. When you think of the word current, you think of maybe a river or the ocean or something like that, and it's, a, it's the same principle. It's the flow of electrons. Current is measured in amperes or amperes. Um, which is named after the French uh, physicist, mathematician, uh, André-Marie Ampère, and he is widely considered the father of electrodynamics. So to understand a little bit more about current, let's go back to the uh, illustration of the pipes with the water reservoir, um, where you've got the water above the reservoir, gravity is pulling down on the water, creating the pressure or the voltage, and then the amperage is the flow through the pipe. So in this uh, example that you see here, um, the amperage on the left is greater because the pipe is a little bit bigger and can flow more water. And in this picture, the flow rates are equal, uh, the amps are e amperage is equal because you have a greater pressure on the right even though you've got a smaller pipe, whereas on the left you've got lesser pressure because you've got lesser um, gravity pulling down on all that water, but you have a bigger pipe. Another measurement that I'll briefly mention is the Coulomb, which is amps per second or flow per second. And the only reason I bring that up is because I want people to know that I understand what a Coulomb is, but for our basic understanding of solar, we're going to kind of use amps interchangeably for the flow and the flow rate. Amps can be measured by an ammeter, uh, and I've gotten in trouble for mispronouncing that in the past. I've, I've heard it both ways, but I think the, the correct way to say it is ammeter, A-M-M-E-T-E-R. Uh, I have heard it said ammeter before, but anyways, an ammeter will measure the amps um, or the current in an electrical flow. In order to measure current with an ammeter, you usually have to use a shunt, which is a device uh, such as you see in the picture with a known resistance that the meter will be calibrated to use so that you can measure a small amount of electric electrical flow and be able to calculate the larger flow. If you didn't use that, you would usually burn up the meter because it can't handle the amount of heat generated. When talking about solar, you're going to almost always be talking about DC current, uh, which is direct current. In other words, the electrical flow only goes one direction. With AC power, alternating current like you have in your house, it will periodically switch directions. So don't confuse the two. Amps plays into everything you'll do with solar, from calculating your needs, to looking at the specifications of different solar devices, you're always going to be running into amps. So it's important to understand that it's the flow of electricity and it plays a big part in determining what size of wires you need and what type of safety precautions you need um, so that you can stay safe because the higher the amperage, the more potential for heat and problems you have. So that's the basics on current. Now we've got everything we need to tie this all together next time, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.